Hello, this is a case of serial transverse centroplasty for short ball syndrome. A young male patient underwent massive ball resection for gangrene and uh, while closure of stoma, we did this procedure. The patient had pen diastomy and distal mucus fistula. So what we do in step is a serial centroplasty on mesentric and anti-mesentric border, thereby increasing the overall length of the short bubble, which is there. So on exploration of this young chap, what we found is the distal mucus fistula from IC junction, this was the excess length. This was around 10 to 12 centimeter of length, as you can note on the scale. The proximal bowel was only 60 to 65 centimeter, which we measured on the strep. Um, so one thing which happens is when you have a small the uh, proximal limb or jejunum, the jejunum invariably dilates. It dilates so that it can absorb more and more uh, uh, nutrients. That is what the compensatory hyperplasia or compensatory dilatation of jejunum happens. So now we have a 65 centimeter of proximal bowel and around uh, 12 to 15 centimeter of distal. That is around 80 85 centimeter of bowel. If we close this, it will be definitely a small bowel for the patient. So we did this serial enthroplasty. So this is the stapler which we have applied from the mesentric side. We applied it obliquely so that we don't even compromise the lumen and uh, it doesn't lead to complete obstruction. Every 15 centimeter, we did this severe enthroplasty. So this is on the mesentric side which we have applied. Again, after 15 centimeter, we made a small mesentric hole and this is from the mesentric side the stapler was applied again an oblique enteroplasty was done so serial transverse enteroplasty take care when we are doing this we just have to take care so that the, the tip uh, of the stapler is such that it doesn't compromise the lumen completely the usage of this enteroplasty obliquely usually helps in that it can get a bit more length as well as the compromise on the lumen doesn't happen. So that's the second stapler which we have fired. We can fire uh, more staplers also every 10 centimeter also thereby increasing the more length. Uh, we did this uh, every 15 centimeter in this patient. So this again the stapler which we are firing from the mesentric side. So we intended to increase the length of bowel by at least 15 to 20 centimeter. If we get it around 85-90 centimeter on this side and a 15 centimeter on that side, that would lead to a total length of bowel up to 100 centimeter, more than 100 centimeter. Even though it's small, it's still uh, less, but as compared to a uh, total 65 plus 10 of 75-80, uh, uh, bowel length of more than 100 would definitely be helpful for the patient. So once we did all the uh, this stapled enteroplasty, we started measuring the length of bowel again, and uh, I'll show you how much the length goes up uh, in the thread. So that is uh, uh, the way we were measuring it. Complete measurement will happen next. I'll show you. Once this complete measurement was done till the DJ flexure, that's the thread which we cut and we measured the thread. Now, when we measure this thread, that is 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. And again, some five centimeter on this side. So that is hundred centimeter. We have got it, and uh, ten centimeter on distal end. That end to end anastomosis was done, and that is how we got hundred and five centimeter length of the bowel. Thank you.